Okay, in order to find a vertical asymptote, we're going to set the denominator equal to zero. So I have x minus two equals zero, which means x equals two would be the location of my vertical asymptote. And as you can see from the graph of the function, um, when I plot the line x equals positive two, the yellow one here, um, the curve is approaching it and then it bends and shoots right up so that it doesn't cross. Same thing from the negative direction, it approaches but then um, shoots right back down and doesn't cross. Now as I look at the sketch though, I notice that it doesn't seem as if there is um, any horizontal asymptote going on. You know, the curve isn't stretching out um, and having end behavior where it's approaching the same line. Um, rather than a horizontal asymptote, it looks to me more like the curve um, is being bent along this diagonal line um, right here. So that would be a slant or an oblique asymptote and I have to do something different in order to find its equation. So I have no horizontal asymptotes, but noticing um, when I go to find my slant or oblique asymptotes, the power of the numerator is two. Um, the degree or the power on the x of the denominator is one and two is more than one. So that means that um, I could do long division to find the equation of the slant asymptote. So I'm gonna set up my long division and then I'll ask myself, what can I multiply times x in order to get a positive 5x squared? And that would be 5x. So 5x times x gives me the 5x squared. Then 5x times a negative 2 gives me a negative 10x. And when I subtract these values, 5x squared minus 5x squared is 0. A negative 10x minus a negative 10x would be plus a positive. And again, that cancels and gives me a 0. And then I end up with a positive 1 as my remainder. Um, but when we're looking for the equation of the slant asymptote, we just discard the remainder. And that means my slant asymptote is located along the line y equals positive 5x. So when we go to graph that, 0, 0 would be um, a point, and then my slope would be up 5 over 1, up 5 over 1, up 5 over 1, and then you can see the slant asymptote emerge.